have a look at Fast for Word to see how it trains important learning skills. The Fast for Word Foundations 1 and Foundations 2 programs have a total of 12 different exercises and they're really focusing on core learning skills and you're about to see that they have a big focus on auditory or listening skills. So let's take a look at how Fast for Word trains some of these skills. The first exercise that we're going to look at is working on auditory processing speed or sometimes you'll hear that referred to as temporal processing speed. Um, researchers a number of decades ago discovered that auditory processing speed is a really important skill for learning. If you can imagine, the faster you can listen, the easier it is to take in what the teacher is saying. It's also really important for hearing the differences between sounds because um, sounds happen really fast and the differences between sounds happen really fast too. So I'm going to show you this game, it's called Sky Gym. Improving your listening and thinking speed is hard work but you can do it. So because the game actually adapts to me and as I get better at processing, the sounds will get faster. It just gets me to practice the sounds that I'm going to start working on today before I actually start the game. So this is an example of a weep weep sound. And that one's woop woop. And then there are combinations that are different. So the idea of this game is that I listen to two sounds and then I have to click the arrows that match what I heard. Okay, now I'm ready to play. When you are ready to challenge yourself, click the go button and see how many you can get right in a row. So I heard weep weep. So I'm going to click up up. I heard woop weep. So I'm going to click down, up. I heard woop woop, so I'm going to click down, down. And I get a reward for getting three in a row right. So as you can see, this game involves sequencing, so I have to remember what order I heard the sounds in, and I have to remember the sounds, and I have to have heard that there are actually two sounds there. This is one of the easier levels, but it's not the easiest level. So each student, when they start this program, is going to start on a practice level that will actually train them just to hear one sound at a time, and then working up to two sounds, and there's lots of prompts to get them there. If they're already pretty good at the game from the start and they don't need those prompts, then it will move them up more quickly. So this is something that's really unique about Fast for Word is every time a student's answering a question, it will actually adapt to them, which means that you don't have to have an assessment beforehand because from day one, it's actually going, okay, you can do this, I'll move you up, or all right, this is a little bit harder, let's keep you on this level, or let's, let's give you a little bit more practice on this level before moving you up. So it's very, very adaptive. So as this game progresses, and as we move into the Foundations 2 program, there's going to be more than two sounds, and they're going to be faster, and they're going to be shorter, really giving students a challenge with their auditory processing speed. Next, I'm going to show you an exercise which works on auditory working memory. I'm sure you can appreciate that auditory working memory is really, really important in the classroom because we need to be able to remember what the teacher has said to us so that we can do something with that information. So memory is really key to all classroom learning. It's key for how we perform at work. Um, pretty much in any situation, memory is really, really important. So every game actually in fast forward has auditory memory built into it but this one is particularly focusing on auditory memory it's called whaley and match so i've got a number of fish in a grid here this is a higher level it'll actually start with just four fish in the grid which is important when the student is just starting out but as their memory gets better it'll give them more fish so i have 16 fish to match here and i need to listen to each fish I need to remember where it was and I need to find the one that sounds the same as it. So I'm going to work from up here. Kick. Kick. Kit. Kit. Okay, so I've got to match this one and this one. So I'm going to click back on that one to tell it I heard the same sound. Kit. Oh, I've forgotten what these two said, so I might need to go back and listen to them. Kick. Tick. Pick. Dig, pit, big. Some of those sounded similar, but I didn't hear any that sounded exactly the same yet. Pick. Was it that one? Dig. Nope. Pit. Nope. Pick. This one. Pick. 
Big. Think I heard big before. Big. Yes. Pet. Pet. And so I'd match them, so on and so on. And then if I can do that before this little counter runs out up here, then I'm going to get bonus points. So the game is really encouraging me to use my working memory. Well done. You matched all of the sounds before the counter went to zero. If I click around randomly and I don't use my memory, then I'm not going to move up a level. And what What's going to happen in that instance is that the professionals are at Sonic Learning, so our team at Sonic Learning are going to be able to see that that student isn't progressing. And because you're actually getting regular program support, we'll be able to pick up on that and we'll be able to help you and, and your child um, to be able to, to build some strategies for working on this game. So the support is a really, really important part of Fast Forward. We're going to be here with you. You're gonna get a report at the end of every week showing you a summary of how much progress has been made in each exercise that week. But we're also here whenever you have a question and with that regular support call so that we're always making sure that your child's progressing and they're not getting stuck. And that's really, really getting important. Getting smarter is hard work, but you can do it. <laughs> Thank you, I, I can do it. <laughs> okay. So the program has lots of motivational stuff built in. Um, it's really nice, I really like it. So next we're gonna look at a game that targets auditory attention. So in particular, paying attention to something that you hear long enough <laughs> to be able to take it in. And this is a skill which is really, really hard for lots of students. And if you can imagine, if your listening skills aren't very good, how hard it would be to sit in the classroom and just listen to the teacher all day it would be extremely tiring so this next exercise so this next exercise that i'm going to show you is working on that skill of auditory attention granny's working up a sweat you can put your brain to work on the moon ranch okay so i need to click this go button when i click the go button i'm going to hear a sound the horse is going to be making this sound i can actually see down here it's d and c so I'm going to hear stee, stee, stee. And then when I hear the sound change, I need to click the horse. And then I got a reward for getting three in a row. So you can see how much I had to pay attention in order to get this right. As we go along, the sounds are gonna change. It's going to get faster. I'm also gonna get different animals and different kinds of rewards. But my goal is here to make this animal move across and, and move over the fence. And you can see that it requires an incredible amount of auditory attention, but it's also really fun. It's also training auditory discrimination skills, so being able to hear the differences between sounds, which is a really important auditory processing skill. So, so far I've shown you three games that work with sounds. They all work with speech sounds, but we actually haven't been working with whole words or sentences yet. But don't worry, Fast Forward does that as well. So now I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises which work on language skills, listening skills in, in the context of language. You might have seen programs before that claim that they can improve learning skills by using music. I personally feel that using speech, actual sentences, actual words, actual speech sounds is much more effective and much more like what kids will actually do in the classroom in real life. And what we really want is a generalization over into real life skills, which is what we do see in, in the fast forward research. So I think that using speech sounds is really important and using language is really important. So we're going to look now at a receptive grammar game. So it's a comprehension game and you'll see, it trains memory as well. Elabot will improve your grammar and listening skills. Do your best. Okay, so in this game, I need to click the go button and I'm going to hear a sentence and then I need to pick the picture that matches the sentence. The girl who is chasing the clown is not big. So this is an example of a pretty hard one. We'll definitely start on much easier stuff than this. The clown who is not on the box is little. The book that is not on the table is blue. Okay, so what happens if I don't get it right? The book that is not on the table is blue. The game does let me know if I get it wrong. 
it doesn't dwell on it, it moves on, but this is really important for the brain. It's very important for my brain to know when I got something wrong so that it can rewire itself. This is neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to change itself. So you notice that every time I got a question right, I get this ding sound and that ding is actually perfectly timed so that my brain releases the right chemicals that reward me and go, okay, I need to save this, this connection. But when I get something wrong, I need to know <laughs> that it was wrong. And it actually shows me what the correct answer was. Now, there are 36 <laughs> grammar patterns in this particular exercise alone that are gonna be covered. So right from very simple grammar to very complicated grammar. This was on the more complicated end, but it wasn't, one of, it wasn't the hardest question. The game will actually work through them. And if it can see that there's something that I find tricky, so there's a particular grammar point that I'm not really strong at, it will actually provide me with further instruction in that Getting grammar point. Getting smarter is hard work, but you can do it. It does remind you if you stop for a little while. <laughs> so it'll work on that grammar point more and it will give me more intervention for that. If the student's still having trouble after that, that intervention, then at Sonic Learning, we have activities and things that we can provide you with to help uh, that student progress. All right, so that's uh, an example of receptive grammar. The last game I'm gonna show you today is about following instructions. We all know how important following instructions is for classroom, for everyday life. <laughs> Basically, we need to be able to follow instructions. So this game is called Space Commander. You will feel more confident with a better memory in space. Listening carefully to instructions will improve your memory and attention. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the go button to get an instruction. Except for the blue one, touch the circles. So this is teaching me two things here. It's teaching me the concept of except, and if it can tell that I don't know what that is after a few trials, it will teach me. But it's also my memory as well. So it's my language skills and my memory. So I have to click every, was it the circles? Circles except for the blue one. Touch the red circle. No, the green square. Okay, so there was a rule change there. Before touching the yellow square, touch the blue circle. And if I don't get it right? Before touching the yellow square, touch the blue circle. So it's repeating it and it's showing me what it meant. So that's really important. So this works through a whole range of different instructions going from very simple to very hard. So in the beginning, it just works out, does this student know colors, shapes, basic instructions? Once I've been able to show the computer, yep, I can do that, it will move on and it will adjust to the level of, of that particular student. So, so far we've seen that Fast for Word trains core skills that we need for learning. So the skills that a student really needs to be able to sit down in the classroom, pay attention, remember what they've learned, process it quickly enough and understand that information. And that's what they need to be able to do to be an effective learner. You might've heard that Fast for Word trains reading skills as well. And we certainly see that in the Fast for Word research as well. When kids have used Fast for Word and researchers have tested their reading, it's improved. And we actually saw that in our Australian school trials too. But how could that be since as you can see, we haven't actually done any reading? Well, it's because reading requires all of these important cognitive skills as well. And when the neuroscientists created Fast for Word, there was a set of four neuroscientists who created Fast for Word. They were specifically looking at skills we need for learning and for reading. So when we read, we need to pay attention to the paragraph or the story that we're reading. We need to be able to remember what came first so that we can connect it with what came after and we need to be able to understand language and we need to be able to process fast enough so that we're able to you know, read in a, in a fast enough manner so that we're not too slow and, and because when we read too slowly, we lose comprehension and reading can become a very laborious task as well. So that's why we see improvements in, in reading often from this program as well. But if a student does have a reading difficulty, something that they've had for a while, so they've fallen behind with their reading, then just training the cognitive skills will be good, but it won't be enough if they have some catching up to do. 
so those students are really ready to move on to other programs that train their comprehension and their fluency skills. So if you are interested in how Sonic Learning's programs come together to uh, train reading skills in struggling readers, then have a look at our three-step reading program. Fast Forward Foundations is the first step in that program. We've got an information video and a demo video that will show you what that program's all about. If you have any questions about anything you've seen today or any of our services, please just give us a yell, give us an email or a phone call. That's what we're here for. And I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.